and yes, so the Senate on Tuesday, then some of the service chiefs uh, make them uh, resign, sick of the killings of soldiers uh, where they fight insurgency plus banditry for some parts of northern Nigeria. The motion will then bring to the floor of the Senate via point of order where they moved by the chairman of the committee on top of army, Senator Ali Ndume. And those who contribute to the motion, then they complain, say the implicate of the badness developed, plus say if it frustrates the war against insurgency plus banditry. And as this summer, and say many members of the armed forces where they fear to lose their life, say they don't start to resign from military. The various reports of casualties among the Nigerian Army and other security agencies. The Senate further notes that just recently, 24 soldiers were ambushed and killed along Dambua Meduguri Road in Borno State. 19 were wounded and 9 were declared missing in action. The Senate is disturbed that in Katina, again, about 20 soldiers were also ambushed and killed, while several others were wounded. The number of civilian casualty is not known. The Senate appreciates the sacrifice of our armed forces in the fight against insurgency, banditry, and protection of territorial integrity of Nigeria and several other security assignments given to them, the Senate is concerned that if the trend continues, it will have serious implication on the fight against insurgency, banditry, and other forms of criminality in the country. Mr. President, I rise to second the motion as early moved, that the service chiefs step aside for new people to come in, and so second. I support this motion. And I plead that we do not take things for granted any longer in Nigeria. Because it got to the point, I'm sure you're aware, that last week they say some soldiers deserted the army. When it gets to the point where soldiers who are trained to fight and possibly die decide to leave their command, then we have a problem. And I think this is time for us to be more decisive in dealing with this, this situation. The resignation of over 200 soldiers. This shows the level of disaffection and disenchantment in the front lines, and to that extent calls for an urgent scrutiny by the Senate of not only the strategic, the tactical and operational uh, uh, details of operations by the, by the armed forces, and also the fact that... Thank you very much, distinguished colleagues. I think uh, the spirit of this motion, excuse me, the spirit of this motion is that our armed forces are trying very hard, just like the president said, the good is still not enough, but we need to continue to encourage them, we need to continue to provide for them, we need to continue to provide for them, they lay their lives on behalf of all of us. And of course, it's very sad that some of them are deserting, are alleged to have deserted the war front. We need to get to the bottom of this. This, our joint committee, should be able to find out the, uh, the facts about this allegation of over 200 deserting uh, the war front. And of course, uh, those that are dead We'll observe a minute's silence, but let me also convey our condolences uh, to our armed forces and the families of those.